What's up YouTube? So I got some new 2.2s for the Gen 8 Wendigo bodied build that I'm doing for my son. I got the knockoff Voodoo Ot6 KLRs from Amazon. I got some eBay special wheels and I painted the centers gold. I'm really digging how they turned out. I ended up running the hair donut, hair bun, foams up front so far because that's where all the weight is in the back I just run the stock foams that came with the tires they're a little too soft in my opinion this rig is pretty heavy at almost eight pounds uh, it's like seven and some change basically but um, really digging the wheel and tire combo it looks way better than what I had on before and the wheeling slash traction bite and everything just fits and it does what it's supposed to I mean it just really crawls gonna be getting some wheel weight soon for it the stainless steel ones like I did on the gen 7 because I think the stainless steel looks more like a real brake caliper I'm okay with the bronze um, axle weights but I like the stainless steel brakes so those will be coming here soon and I'll be trying those out now we're just going to go for a quick little jaunt around my backyard track here just to try out the new tires. Which you can see they just hook and go, but being knockoff Ot 6s, I mean. Having the smaller diameter is nice because those wheels can really stuff up in those wheel wells now. I don't have to worry about rubbing like I did with the big Hyraxes. These are right at around 5 inches in diameter. I think 4.94 to be exact. The nice thing too is I was able to let my springs down and by having the tires not being a, another three quarters of an inch taller it keeps the CG a lot further down so my son as well as I when I drive his to test it out obviously to get him set up he is not flipping all over the place because of high CG but look at that it just those tires just grip and I'm blown away for cheapos I mean they're like 30 bucks for a set of four so worth it if you ask me i'm gonna go ahead and hit this course one more time in reverse just to again demonstrate the grip oh that's the first flip over with these tires might help if i get behind it so i can actually see the line that i'm hitting oh there we go that was the line i was looking for when you're not behind it, you can't see the line, so that was my fault. Nothing to do with tires or the truck or performance. That was just me missing the line. The nice thing about the hair donuts is they really hold the weight well, especially on the front of this axle. And they're still pretty good flex out, like the tire bites well, but at the same time with that donut foam, it's firm enough to where it gives, but not overly. Nope, and I high centered. Like I'm 
I'm going to have to give it the old foot of God there. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can do this right. There we go. Again, when you're not behind your rig, you can't see your line right. You don't know what you're hitting. Well, that pretty much concludes my video. I don't want to make it too long. People don't usually like super long tutorial videos anyway. Oh, knock these bricks out of the way. That's how heavy this rig is. I mean, if that tells you anything, bricks filled with mortar and this thing just kind of pushes and bounces them right out of the way. But anyway, like and subscribe if you want to see more how-tos or if you have questions. I try to answer people as soon as I can. And uh, if you want to see me put a hair donut in and see the difference, but it's hard to see because you're not here, but that is super firm. That just squishes it. I mean, it's super soft, but there's hardly any weight in the back of a crawler. We all kind of know that, so if you're going to run a softer foam, I recommend running it in the rear. Keep it stiff up front for the traction. Anyway, like, subscribe.